So can you make money investing in ethical ETFs or companies? So this is actually a really complicated topic because even though a company might fit the ESG rating, I'll explain what that is in a minute, it might not fit your personal ethics or your moral guidelines on what constitutes a socially responsible company. So it can be tricky to really narrow your selections down when choosing investments for your portfolio. So in this video, I'm going to try and simplify the topic as best I can. I'll give you some tips on how to be a more socially responsible investor if that's what you're interested in. We'll look if you can actually make money investing this way because isn't that the point of investing and I'll also let you know which is my top ETF in the ethical funds which one I think is the best the most socially responsible and I will also give you eight companies that fit both my criteria my dividend investing criteria and all of the socially responsible uh, criteria as well so the best of both worlds. So we can't really start talking about ethical investing without talking about how companies are rated. So most companies, funds and ETFs are rated under an ESG guideline. It's just an umbrella term that looks at various socially responsible factors. The acronym stands for environmental, social and governance. So the environmental component is really probably the most easiest to understand. It's how the company impacts the planet, so what their climate change policies are, what its carbon footprint is like, and if they put into practice any renewable energy policies, recycling, conservation, things like that. So the social component is how they treat people overall, so their employees, customers, but also society in general. So under this umbrella is things like fair wages, safety in the workplace, but also the supply chain, like where are they sourcing their products or their materials? Are they ethically resourcing those products at places where there are fair wages there as well. So governance is corporate governance or how well they uh, interact with their shareholders. So this is more tied to their business dealings and how ethical they are in that area. So for example, how the board of directors runs its business, what sort of perks the uh, board of directors are getting, like is the money from the company or the profits going to the management team or is it being fairly split to shareholders. It also covers how well managed the company is, like if there is any mismanagement by directors directors, how the board votes and how much impact shareholders have on those decisions. So basically just the transparency of communication with shareholders and how the business is run and how it deals with the profits in distributing that money back to shareholders overall. So a lot of the funds will also further screen out different companies that are involved in things like tobacco or gambling or weapons or pornography or anything like that. So they'll screen out those types of companies as well. But it is still important to actually go and read what the particular company or fund policies are because they can vary quite a lot. Now you don't actually have to go out and search for the ESG rating. It's usually already factored into most funds. The easiest thing to do is just go and read the fund overview and that will explain the types of companies that it includes and how it's chosen those companies. So that should give you a pretty strong indication of whether the fund or the company aligns with your own goals. But can you make money investing ethically? So finder.com.au, I'll leave a link below in the description. I'll leave a link to all of the websites that I mentioned down below. They did a study on 10 Australian ethical ETFs and as you can see, the results over the past 12 months has been wildly variable. Now it's safe to assume that, that yes, last year was a quite volatile year, but only three of the 10 ETFs actually had a return turn above 10%. Now, not that I'd be looking only at past performance, that's not going to be the only criteria that you would look at. And of course, this only includes the stock price and not any dividends that you may have received during that period. So not all of these that are listed in this list are covered by a major broker, like the beta shares fair isn't listed on the ASX. So it can be more difficult to buy and sell into those ones. So um, I'm probably not going to advise going for one that you can't easily get in and out of. So if it's not listed through your broker, if you go through a major broker, I wouldn't probably invest in them. So an example on how different the criteria to get into these ethical funds can be, the e-invests fund, they focus on companies that have positive ESG outcomes. If you compare that to Vanguard's ethical fund, they actually go further and 
not only take into account the ESG rating, but also they discount certain companies based on their business dealings. So if you want to build a more ethical portfolio, how do you go about doing that? Firstly, you need to decide whether you want to invest directly in companies or you want to go with an ETF. Both have their pros and cons. So if you buy in companies direct, you will have more control over what companies you get to choose to put in your portfolio. So you can uh, pick and choose those that align with your values the most. The cons of going direct is that it's a lot more research and you don't have that instant diversification like you would with an exchange traded fund. But if you really want to vet the companies that you invest in, this is the way to go is to choose companies individually. If you want to go exchange traded funds to make things a little bit easier, the main benefit is of course that all the research is done for you and of course you're getting a large number of companies within that fund so you've got instant diversification. The con though is that you may not agree with all of the companies that are within that particular fund. So what ETFs and stocks do I recommend out of the best of the ethical companies to choose from? So Morningstar rates funds and stocks so I thought I would go in and see what their recommendations for good uh, ethical funds would be and they recently did an article on ethical investing. They listed a bunch of funds and their top pick is also my top pick. <laughs> They gave Australian Ethical Investment Limited, stock code AEF, they gave that a bronze rating. And I can see why, because it fits all of the ESG criteria, but it also factors out a lot of the companies that uh, might be involved in business dealings that will probably not align with socially responsible investing. Plus, looking at the growth of this fund, you can see that it's not only one of the more popular funds for a good reason, but it's had good growth. Dividend wise, it's not high in dividends. You wouldn't buy this as a dividend ETF, but I'm sure that if you're looking at ethically sourced companies, that's not your main criteria. But if you did want to invest individually in companies, it wouldn't hurt to actually go and see what companies AEF are investing in. And that could be the start of your research. And I did just that. And I looked at companies that fit my dividend criteria. So were listed in the ASX 200, had a dividend score of over 5%, had strong dividend stability, but were also ethically conscious companies. So from my research that I did a few months ago, eight of those companies also fit the socially responsible criteria. So that is GA Education Limited, Cromwell Property Group, Spark Infrastructure Group, Osnet Services Limited, Dexas, Stockland, the GPT Group, and Spark New Zealand Limited. I actually have a few of those in my portfolio already, so I was really pleased to see that. This list is just a start though, and dividends are usually not the main criteria of someone who wants to invest socially responsibly, but I thought it would be interesting to look at both companies that were ethical investments and had high paying dividends. So can you make money investing ethically? Yes, of course you can. But of course, like all investments, you need to do your research upfront. There's a lot of arguments that say that investing ethically can reduce your risk in volatile markets, but I kind of don't um, agree with that opinion. Individual companies do good or bad in different market conditions. And I don't think just because it's socially responsible or an ethical company, that it's gonna do any better or worse, depending on what market conditions we're in. Each company has to be analyzed individually. So just saying that a socially responsible company is going to offer less risk, I think is a huge generalization. You really need to research any company that you're investing in. But yes, you can make money with ethically responsible companies, either investing individually or with ETFs. So just to go over my picks again, my pick for the Best ETF is Australian Ethical Investment Limited, stock code AEF. And for individual companies that also fit my dividend criteria is GA Education Limited, Cromwell Property Group, Spark Infrastructure Group, Osnet Services Limited, Dexas, Stockland, GPT Group, and Spark New Zealand Limited. So there you go. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you start thinking about whether ethically investing is important to you or not. Good luck with your investing and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.